Pelionia repens is an attractive creeping plant from Southeast Asia. The plant has been moved to the genus Procris to become Procris repens, but it is still well known as Pelionia repens. It can also be found under another old name, Elatostemma repens. Its common name is watermelon begonia on account of the grey and green striping on the leaves resembling the skin of a watermelon. But the name is a little inaccurate, as this plant is not a begonia, but it is a member of the nettle family. As with most creepers, it is a fast-growing plant, but it usually becomes bushy rather than long. The stems branch frequently, and stem lengths of 40 to 60 centimetres are most common. Its creeping habit makes it an ideal subject for hanging baskets, or just raise its pot by placing it on top of another tall pot that is upside down. The leaves and stems are soft and fleshy. The leaves have a satin appearance and are typically 5 to 7 centimetres in length with a 2 to 3 centimetre width. Leaf colour varies considerably and plants can have leaves in dark shades of olive green to copper bronze and mid to dark green with blotches and striping of mint green and grey. The undersides of the leaves are pale green. These striking leaf colorations and variations make this a very showy and desirable plant. Aerial roots are not produced, so Pelionia repens does not climb well, preferring to scramble around at ground level. In cultivation, this is an easy plant to grow indoors and can also be grown in terrariums as it is relatively small growing and can be easily trimmed to maintain size and shape. Pelionia repens is a shade loving plant that likes full to medium shade, so that makes it an easy plant to accommodate as a house plant. A shelf or windowsill in medium light are ideal locations. Watering should be regular and you should aim to keep the compost slightly moist at all times. Liquid fertilizer diluted to half strength can be given once a month during the active growth period in spring and summer. This is not a frost hardy plant and should not be allowed to freeze. Even a very short exposure to frost will cause severe damage, so maintain temperatures well above freezing to be safe. Propagation is by cuttings taken in the summer months. Cuttings of 7 to 10 centimetres in length should be cut from the plant. Remove the leaves from the lower two-thirds of the stems. Cuttings can be rooted in general purpose potting compost with added river sand or perlite. Take a cup with drainage holes or a pot and fill with the cutting compost and make some deep holes in the compost at the edges of the pot. Place one cutting in each hole, firm the compost around the cutting, and water them well. Keep moist and place in a spot with medium light for rooting to take place. When repotting, any general purpose compost can be used. A soil-based or peat-free compost with added organic material such as cocoa peat or garden compost will be ideal.